It's a division matchup. Tigers on the road as Detroit goes up against the Chicago White Sox. And it's on 2K Sports. Live on 2K Sports Friday night, Major League Baseball. Hey, great to have you with us. A look at Carlos Quentin, no doubt getting ready for some offensive punch. Everyone settling in now, U.S. Cellular Field to site. Starting pitcher, John Danks. Steve, what do you think the strategy is going to be against this Detroit powerhouse? Oh, sending a good lefty to the mound in this ball game here, but this is a great lineup, a lineup that can really beat up even some of the best pitchers in the game. So he's going to have to be on top of this game in order to do it and rely upon that movement on his pitches. Take a look at Jimmy Leland's lineup. This and Brandon Inge at the plate. And we're ready to get things started. Third base, number 15, Brandon Inge. There's a strike from Danks, now 0-1. Detroit coming in off a loss in their last one. They end up dropping both games, 0-2 in the series against the Rangers in Texas. Oh, and these guys have only won two of their last ten ball games. And you talk about a team struggling on the road, this is it. On the way. Sharp bike to that slider, 1-2. and two. It's not about breaks uh, in this losing uh, streak right now. It's about the fact they're not playing very well. Well, absolutely right. And, you know, once you continue to, to get on a losing streak on the road, it starts to eat away at your confidence. Two-two pitch. And Ramirez fields the ball. And Inge's retired. Now, a quick look for this game at the White Sox and how they are positioned in the field. What do you like out there, Steve? Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. And it's Carlos Guillen in the box now. Five lifetime hits, 11 ABs off Danks. Nobody on base, one away. Swing and a bouncer up the middle. Back up. So Guillen is set down. And be sure to tune in next Sunday. We'll see Evan Longoria and the Tampa Bay Rays. They play host to the Los Angeles Angels. Things will get going at 1.30 Eastern. And Miguel Cabrera to bat. Two outs, bases empty. Hot shot towards the hole. And Ramirez fields the ball. No, not in time. Close plays at first. Well, when you're setting your defense, you don't set your defense for guys not to hit the ball well. This ball wasn't hit hard, but he gets down the line so quickly he's able to beat it out for that base hit. And Maglio Ordonez up. Cut fastball, swung on and missed, 0-1. Well, as a hitter, if you're looking for something off speed, you don't swing it in. Oh, and there goes Cabrera. out trying to take second so no runs on one hit and nobody left on and the White Sox their first chance has come and Jeremy Bonderman gets ready to throw he'll be the starter for Detroit and uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup what are they going to see from him today this lineup has come into the situation with some confidence right now a pitcher with nothing overpowering who they know if he throws it over the plate, they can do some damage, so force him to throw strikes. And it's Johnny Damon now. Right there in the top five in home run. Bonderman gets him to go after that one, and he missed it. It'll be a strike. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out, and a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. Strike three, Damon on a swing and a miss turned away. Well, he made it look easy right there. Slicing and dicing, just attacking the strike zone. Three pitches, all for strikes, and sit down. And it's Alexei Ramirez now, one away. Last outing for the White Sox proved to be a win. And that one adding to the win streak for him. It's now up to six. Now this club's just lost one of their last ten ball games. You talk about a hot team. This is it. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect him. And that one loss came on the road. This, that one swung on, hit in the air, deep to left field. Guillen will field. 
He has to back up for it. Comes away with the out. Line up for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepper. So who are you looking at, John? Well, when you think of Paul Canerco, you think of reliability. He's a guy that year in and year out you can count on, and he produces for you. And in this game today, they are definitely going to count on him to do some big things. And don't be surprised if he comes through. And it's Paul Canerco now. He's the league leader in ribbies. Bonderman gets set and delivers. And that's in there. The White Sox get a man on. Can't cut it off. It's going to roll to the wall. And he pulls into second base. That will be a double. Now we'll take a quick look at the Tigers and how they're out there positionally on the fence. Uh, Steve, a factor for them? Defense is critical to any team's success, and Adam Everett is critical to this team's success. He has some kind of defensive play. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0-1. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that strike heater. Two. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes, Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. You saw the a swing and a miss. Strike three, but a chance at first. The throw. And there's the throw down to first base, and they got him. Nice play by the catcher. Time to get out of the crowd. And Maglio Ordonez to lead it off. And you can say these fans remember when he sat in the Maglio other dugout. Ordonez. No doubt about that. Ball. Slider just misses 1-0. Career average 337 off the White Sox. Here's the 1-0 up the middle. And that's a base hit. Ordonez on. Well, anytime you can get on base with no outs to start an inning, you know that an extra base hit will probably score you. But even if the batter behind you can figure out a way to get on base, now you have the potential for a huge inning. It's Rayburn at the plate. Danks gets him to swing and miss for a strike. Here's the pitch. Ground ball, Creedy. Over to second for one. And there's the second out of double play. Always looking for that friend of a pitcher. They wanted that ground ball and got it. Now he threw it around the horn to get the double play. Nice turn by the second baseman. It's going to be Santiago now. Base is empty and two down. There's a strike from Danks, now 0-1. I don't think he liked that call very much, but the reality is he couldn't hit that any day of the week. That's a great pitch. Oh. That fastball that time that misses inside evens the count at one. Right. And he looks at the slider in there, and it's one and two now. He has great bite on this slider, throwing it down and into the hitter. Gets away with one and he gets in for the strike. That swung on, grounded up the middle, and Ramirez fields the ball. Throws the first side is retired. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. Still scoreless in Chicago. Middle of the lineup coming along. And if you are just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne along with John Crutch, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And Beckham's in the box. Career batting average, 244 against the Tigers. Bonderman gets set and delivers. And Everett brings that one in. And a chance now to see where the Tigers sit in the American League rankings. Tenth in home runs, 13th in triples, and they have not hit with runners in scoring position. They've really got to look at their approach at the plate. They look like they're pressing a little bit too much. One out, and Alex Rios at the plate. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. That's a foul ball. 
Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. Jeremy Bonderman now has him 0-2. Well, this is just one of those pitches right there that he had a chance to put in play, but his indecisiveness caused him to hesitate. And when you hesitate, you are lost, especially in the batter's box. Rung him up, strike three. Count that one as Kate. It's going to be Przinsky. That one's in the dirt. Nice stop. On the outside corner, one and one. Well, he couldn't have asked for a better pitch. He likes the ball down the middle like every hitter, and he got a fastball. You got to swing the bat. Line to left, but that's going to go foul. Oh. Slider swung out and missed. Struck him out. That's going to retire the side. And they aren't able to get anything going in this half inning. Three up, three away. White Sox still looking for a run. Designated hitter, number 19, Jeff Larry. Larry shot the plate. Our last game broke that hitless streak. Had a four-game hitless streak. Finally got up on the board with a base hit. Now Przinsky sets up. There's a strike from Danks, now 0-1. I don't think he liked that call very much, but the reality is he couldn't hit that any day of the week. That's a great pitch. Swung, ground ball to short. Fielded by Ramirez. In time for the up. Going around the league, the team's keeping their ERA down, courtesy of State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. The Red Sox second. In third, the Yankees, Mariners fourth, and at number five, it's the Angels. Well, this whole staff seems to be in shutdown mode, and it doesn't matter if it's the starter, the reliever, or the closer. These guys are all getting the job done. It makes it so much easier on your offense when you know you don't have to score eight to ten runs to win a game. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. The retiring player. layer. Arm strength is critical for a third baseman. You see why right there. His good, strong arm is the difference between out and safe. Base is empty with two outs. That one's drilled to short. Fielded by Ramirez. Throws on to first. Side is retired. So John Danks gets him free up, free down. Leading it off, Joe Greedy. Uh, ten full Major League seasons now working on his 11. Bonderman gets him to go after that one, and he missed it. It'll be a strike. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Greedy. He'll lean in on that zone now. The pitch hit in the air. This one's going well into the stands off to the right. And Joe Creedy comes up empty, a swing, no contact. With two strikes, the hitter wanted the fastball. He got it, but didn't do anything with it. It's going to be Tomei now. He has a 286 batting average against Bonderman. First pitch, and he misses the fastball, strike one. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter, swung late. Strike and two. that's a strike. Tomei's going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Swings, clobbers this one. Deep left center field. Goodbye, home run. And the first run of the ball game. Wow, it comes with a solo home run and a one nothing lead. Look, Gary, look 
like he was setting on that pitch. He got it and drove it out of the park. And what they're going to want to do in this ball game now is take advantage of that and build that momentum up. Well, they need to still be aggressive out there and go right after him. That's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. First pitch on the way to Damon. Bonderman gets him to go after that one, and he missed it. It'll be a strike. This is a really momentum feel home run. Uh, you get it at this point of the ball game. You add some juice to the whole offense. Well, this could be a decisive moment in the game. I mean, these hits early on could ultimately impact the result at the end of the game. There's a swing, line drive, center field, and Rayburn's able to get to that one. The Tigers' schedule looks like this. They'll wrap up this series with the White Sox on Sunday. They'll get a homestand started against the Royals. A little chance for payback there, a team that beat them the last time out. That's a three-game series, and after that, they face another competitive team at home, the Minnesota Twins. So, a lot of home games to look forward to. And a shot here for Alexi Ramirez, two down. One of the best batting averages in the league. Bonderman gets set and delivers. Swung on, lined over the first baseman's head. That one headed into the corner. Going to try for at least a double. Ramirez is headed for third. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. Well, one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. Oh, the yeah, chance go. goes to Paul Canerco. He leads the American League and runs batted in. And he starts Canerco out. Bonderman gets him to go after that one. And he missed it. It'll be a strike. And a ground ball. Cabrera. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. They tried to go down with that 0 1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steven, looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind him to count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. First run of the game, third inning. They'll try to build on that momentum. The White Sox are out in front, one to nothing. Looking on, Jim Leland. No doubt right now, thinking about getting back to a tie ball game. And Brandon Inge at the plate. And Inge settles in for the first pitch. And that swung on and hit. Rios. That's going away. Now we take a moment to look at the pitching staffs allowing the fewest free passes this month. Brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. The Royals in second. In third, the Twins. The Tigers fourth. And it's the Red Sox number five. A smash towards the hole. And Canerco makes the catch. Well, I hit this one on the screen, so luckily the first baseman had a position properly and had a big old glove over there to get him out. And he starts Cabrera out. Swung on, line softly, right field line. And he gets it down. He's two for two now. now. Coming to bat. That's going to bring Maglio Ordonez up. Right fielder, well, even though there's two 30. outs, you never want to think you're out of an Ordonez. inning. And this guy came up there and hit this ball hard somewhere. He gets on base with that solid hit. And who knows what can happen after that. And Ordonez settles in. First pitch. Fantastic chance the here. Tiger, center fielder, number 25. It's Rayburn Ryan at the plate. Rayburn. In 10 opportunities, one hit lifetime against Danks. The pitch. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And that'll put him on another hit. Cabrera's going to try and score here. And Cabrera will score. And the Detroit Tigers, wow, what a momentum swing for them. 39. 
get to take a look at one here that probably should have ended at first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box and rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up, and he gets in safely. No indecision when he got the first base. That's how you get in safely to second. It's going to be Santiago now. Steve, a chance now for this lineup. To swing a little line drive towards the middle. That's down. Runner could come home. The throw. Not in time, and he scores. So the rally here energized every new opportunity they take advantage of. A couple of ribbies on that swing. Let's see the impact on our Pepsi WPA board. Larish at the plate. Well, they've done themselves quite a job here. This is a nice push at this point of the ball game to get out in front. Well, you have to credit this lineup, Gary. There's some quality at bats right now, and taking advantage of the opportunities, and now they have a lead. And now time is called. And they're coming out of the dugout and heading to the mound. Now you don't know how long he's going to stay with this pitcher. You're going to have to wait and see what they decide. He may be done. Runner on first, two away. And here's the first one. Right. Sliders in there, no balls and a strike. And it may be early going. They've got a chance to maybe put this ball game away and put a little defeatism on the other side. Well, what I really like is their approach at the plate. They're waiting for their pitch, and when they get it, they're driving it, taking advantage of oh. every mistake the pitchers make. Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. Danks gets set and You're delivers. Out. Struck him out. Boy, is he glad this inning's over. John Danks laboring through this one, battling through a tight ball game. Just three runs given up, four innings of work. Now they got to find a way to get a lead. And it'll be the White Sox. And Beckham's in the box. 0 for 1 thus far. Number 15, Jordan Beckham. First pitch. This one's grounded hard up the middle. One away. These are the hot bats right now, the highest batting average over the last 10 days, courtesy of State Farm. Now we see some tremendous hitters on this list, guys who understand how to make good contact at the plate to get the good part of the bat on the ball on a consistent basis. And he starts Rios out. Swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. He has a 5 for 16 lifetime against Bonderman. Swing and lined up the middle. That gets down. That'll put him on the tying run up. That's going to bring up A.J. Pierzynski. Courtesy of State Farm. Here's a look at the American League wild card race. Getting close to the wire now. In first place, it's the Yankees. The Mariners, second place. Orioles, third place. In fourth place, it's the Royals. Fifth place, the Rays. And it's the Blue Jays, last. What a great race we have in the American League wild card right now. And, you know, it's been interesting, but wild card teams have had great success in the postseason in the past. So one of these teams has a chance to really make a run to the World Series. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. Well, look for them to keep an eye and hold him close at first base here. He's fast. And they're going to try to get him. Swing and a rocket towards short. And that gets the tying run on board. That will bring Joe Creedy up. Uh, 0 1 mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate and he pays for it. One out with runners at first and second. Now Laird sets the target. Swung on line to right center field. Base hit, maybe two. Rios will head to the plate. And Rios comes in. And is Rios heading home? And Pierzynski comes across too. Boy, the continuation here of this offense is called big time momentum. Now Pepsi gives us a look at how much that triple helped our Pepsi WPA graph. Well, I was already to mark this down on the card as a double, put another line in there. Well, he didn't let up at all, Gary. Great effort on his part. Took a chance, but he made it. Amazing thing is he was able to do it standing up. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Mm -mm. Chases that one. It's high, but it's a strike. Over his career, going 291 off Detroit. There's a bullet towards third. And Inge gloves that one. And that will not get that runner in from third. Look, Gary, I tell you what, I think he caught that one in self-defense. He couldn't even move. He had to just get the glove off. So Johnny Damon thinks RBI. And uh, at the plate, 
One of the tops and runs scored. Top five. Bonderman gets him to go after that one. And he missed it. It'll be a strike. Ball. And Johnny Damon watches that one go by. The count is even. And here's a swing and a miss. He couldn't get that one. One and two. Well, a lot of times movement will fool a hitter, but it looked like right here the velocity on that pitch was what caused him to swing and miss and be late. He was uh, able to ring up that K, and that's going to get him out of the inning. They pick up two, three hits, strand a man. We've got a stalemate going here in Chicago. Isaac Gian taking a look at you right there. And the prospect here, I'm sure he's considering how to maximize each opportunity in a very close game. Banks gets set and delivers. First pitch inside. Ball one. 1-0 one -oh on the way. That one gets passed, but no damage done. This one's grounded to second. Back up. Retiring layer. Here's how the Central Division is shaping up late going. It's brought to you by State Farm. It's the White Sox in first. In second place, it's the Royals. In third, the Indians. In the fourth spot, it's the Twins. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. Uh, pretty surprising the way this Tigers team has played this year. I think disappointing for the whole organization, for their fans, for the city of Detroit. They thought they'd compete, and they're just not getting it done. There's a swing and a line drive. And what a catch. A spectacular out. That's a big play right there, boy. That's a great diving catch. Well, we always say third base is the hot corner, but first base could be the hot corner, too, and that was a great catch. Two outs and nobody on. Here's the first pitch. This one swung on and driven hard. Rios will field. And that one's put away to retire the side. Three up, three down this half inning. We're still tied here in Chicago. It'll be back. For those of you just coming on board, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Trump bringing you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. What a year for him. Top five in homers. Bonderman gets set and delivers. Slider swung on and missed. 0 and 1. And here's the pitch. Clobbers this ball. A soaring drive deep left center field. Gone a home run. And a solo home run that breaks the tie. Big clutch homer. Oh, Gary, it's the second home run they hit off him in this game. So when he gets the ball up and makes a mistake, they hit it out. He's got to be thinking about exactly what he threw in those cases and maybe change it up a little. Uh, clearly to those guys, he's going to have to do it. And here's Paul Canerco. That's it foul by Canerco. Steve, a big fly like that at this point in the ball game. You, you start thinking, you know something, we're going to win this ball game. Well, backbreaker, boy, that kind of power shows the other team that, you know what, you always have a chance to catch up or extend your lead. He swings and nails a liner. And it goes foul. No luck on that one. Called third strike up number one. Big, big breaking ball right there. Just sailing in at 84. He fed him a fastball on that last pitch, John, and then locked him up with movement to finish him off. Oh, did he ever? That was a great sequence. Show him the heat and then drop one right in on him the next pitch. First pitch to Quinton. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. It's off the wall and right. He's trying for second. And he's in at second with a double, one up. 
Well, this is a guy right here that was made to hit fastballs, and that's what he looks for, and that's what he got right there. Put a good swing on it. He knew what to do with it for that double. Out on the mound, we will see Phil Cope. They've decided it's time to bring a new arm into this one. And Beckham's in the box. Perfect so far. One for one off Cope. Swings a little late that time. Strike one. Gary, this guy has an outstanding changeup. I mean, he makes his living by deceiving the hitter. Here's the pitch. You're and out. that one swung out and missed by Gordon Beck. Here's the four-seam fastball Center coming fielder. at you in K-Cam. So Alex Rios, he'll try and keep it going. And one of the top ten averages right now. And he starts Rios out. That's hit foul by Rios. This one all the way to the backstop. The runner will advance. Spins on a throw behind the runner. And they almost got him that time. He strikes out Alex Rios in a swing and a miss. They pick up a run on the homer and they take the lead. The White Sox leading now. They've got the momentum. So Carlos Guillen leads it off. 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch, A.B. begins to Guillen. Check the swing, but it's in there. 0 and 1. Danks gets set and delivers. Here's a swing and a broken bad line drive. One down. A good shortstop puts himself in a position to make the play. Right there, he didn't have to move at all as that ball was hit directly at him. And it's Miguel Cabrera now. Lifetime four for 15 off John Danks. And with two strikes on him now, Cabrera needs to be protective of that zone. Oh. Cabrera will foul that one away. You're out. And Miguel Cabrera goes down swinging strike three. He tried to get a piece of that one and at least follow it off. That ball up and in, he couldn't quite catch up to it. Strike three. And Ordonia settles in. First pitch. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. Throws to first in time. That's three down. Nobody left on base. No runs or hits here in this half inning. The White Sox still ahead. Bottom three, do up next. And if you just joined our broadcast, great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Clark. It's going to be Brzezinski, and he's in the top ten in the league and runs. And the first pitch hit sharply towards the hole. From his knees, he got him. What a play! Tremendous play right here. Took a good arm to complete it. That's one thing to get to the ball and make the play. It's another thing to make that accurate a throw from your knees. Great job. One out, nobody on. He's up for that first pitch and misses 0 and 1. Boy, he's got great movement on that two seamer. It's one of the best around. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Greedy. He'll lean in on that zone now. The hitter's got to be in defense mode right here. Swing and oh, he shatters his bat as he hits this one on the ground. And Greedy retires. A well hit ball. The second baseman easily takes care of it, though. Throws it over. This guy makes it look easy. Two outs, bases empty. 
First pitch on the way. One. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0-1. And, and that's a strike. Tomei's going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Well, anytime you recognize a slider, you got to be out. very patient with it. You can't be over anxious. You got to stay back. And then when you see it good enough, let it fly. And they aren't able to make any noise here in this half inning. White Sox four, Detroit three. Leading off the top of the seventh inning. Here's a familiar face, Jim Leland. His club only separated by one run, tying this ball game. Got a plan to get back in. We'll see. It's Rayburn at the plate. He'll lead off the seventh. First pitch to him. Ball. That curve is just a little bit outside. One ball, no strikes. Uh, down by one. Nobody out here in the seventh inning. You want to try to get somebody on base and, right. and get a little bit of rally because within one, you want to be able to time it and maybe take the lead. So play for a big inning right here. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Shot back to first. And Canerco makes the catch. You want to talk about settling in? How about retiring eight hitters in a row? I think he settled in. One out, nobody on. The first pitch. Swing and a hot shot. Oh, mercy. Well, that did not miss him by much, but he got out of the way. Late season baseball. Here's what the White Sox have coming up. Final game with Detroit is Sunday. They'll head to Oakland to take on the A's. A team they didn't have too much trouble with in their previous series. It'll be a three-game series. And then they'll be off to take on the Angels in that bat of Bobby Abreu. That's a team they handled all right the last time up. They'll try for a repeat performance. That's quite a few road games coming up, and that's always challenging. Here's the first pitch. Right Looked like a cutter that time for a called strike. No, Derek's still dealing with that one run differential. One out here in the seventh inning. And again, I think it's about making ground ball, Creedy. Yeah. Over to Canerco. Two away. Right, might have been able to get the out at second, at least getting the lead runner, but at least they got the sure out at first. And Prasinski calls for the pitch. Ground ball towards second. And he throws on to first. That will retire the side. And so a good ending for John Danks. He's on the hook for a win if he can continue the pitch work. Loosen him up. Seventh inning stretch time on the south side. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. Number 18, Johnny Damon. The pitch. Damon will file that one away. And a ground ball, Cabrera. And that's our number one stepping in the back. And it's Alexei Ramirez now. One away. He went deep in his last time up. And Ramirez settles in first pitch a shot up the middle and he can't run it down all the way to the wall. Take the risk and sometimes it pays off but it does there. Well I'll tell you what I, it's a risk there's no question about it. He got in safely but I have to consider whether it's a risk worth taking. Here is Paul Canerco. Boy, what a chance he's got here for the White Sox. One out with a runner at second. He delivers. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Well, I tell you what, for a two-seam fastball, he had some good movement and good pop on that one. Batter swung late. There's a swing and a ball hit high. Way back there. A little distance now, increasing their lead one to three. Good 
Jerry, he drove that hanging slider deep out of the ballpark. Good swing. White Sox lead expanding here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. Number 20, Carlos. Base is empty, one out. Here it comes. He gets Quentin to swing, strike one. Steve, going back to that home run, that, that is a very tough obstacle now to overcome. And the manager in the dugout's got to be thinking to himself, how long do I let this pitcher go? Is it time to get him out of there? He sends this one in the air towards center. And there's another one. A couple of quick hits. Now breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average. First in hits. And he's also leading the league in home runs. That power bat, that ability to hit it out of the ballpark. A major power threat every time he comes to the plate. One down, runner at first. Now the first pitch. There's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. Two away. Now up to the plate for the Chicago White Sox. Bill Zumaya is going to be pitching as the Tigers turn to him in relief. And he gets going against these White Sox hitters. What do you think's in store? Well, the manager signals to the bullpen. Oftentimes, he wants a power arm, and that's exactly what Joel Zamaya brings is a power fastball. Clocked over 100 miles per hour multiple times in his career. He also has a power curveball as well. Health has been an issue in the past, but when healthy, he's unhittable. Drill over to second base, a force to retire the side. Well, they add a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. White Sox up three. End of the order, ready to do some work at the plate. And it's Everett batting. 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch, here it comes. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. Danks gets set and delivers. And Canerco getting to it. And out number one as he steps on the base. And Brandon Inge at the plate. Last time up, flew up. Nobody on base, one away. And Inge settles in for the first pitch. Danks gets him to swing and miss for a strike. Now trailing right now, down three runs. You got one out here in the eighth. You got five outs left is the way you have to look at it. They need base runners get people on and hope somebody runs into one a three run deficit not too much to overcome and this is inside that got him pretty good well they set up inside but he threw it a little too far inside take your base batting is Carlos Guillen First pitch, A.B. begins to Guillen. To left center. That gets down. The tying run coming up. Inge heading for third. Now you have to like the aggressiveness the on the bases here. Good piece of hitting. But they're going first and third. You take the extra base. Those are the little things that lead to victory. It's Miguel Cabrera. This is a great opportunity here with a hit. And on one out. And he starts Cabrera out. That's swung on in a liner here. And it's caught by Ramirez. And that will hold the runners at the corner. That's a big second out right there. Holding on to a slim lead. Now he's got a chance to get out of this thing without any major trouble. And Maglio Ordonez up. Two for three thus far. Now 0 and 2. Dax with some pitches to play with. Now that he's established the strike zone down and in, he can elevate a pitch or go with something soft away from the hitter. 
Ball. Tried to get him to chase a slider, but it's one and two. Swung on, that is hit. Yeah, it's through. That run's going to score. Picks it up. Well, he's having a heck of a day so far. It's his third hit of the game in this one. They just can't seem to find an answer for him. Well, tomorrow's headlines are going to be written right now. You're looking at a lot of determination right now. They are closing in. These are crucial at-bats. Mark Gary, you know what? They're chipping away at this lead and just in time, too. They don't have too many opportunities left, so let's see if they can keep on cashing in here. 0 oh, 1. Good hard cutter in for a golf strike. Don't have a long way to go, though, Steve. They've got themselves in a position now. Hit on the ground, up the middle, and that ball gets through, and the runner's going to come home. Out at third as they tag him. They pick up two, three hits, strand a man. Tigers really battling here to get into this game. A look at the manager, Ozzie Guillen. Now he's not happy with his club. Well, still out in front, but he knows they cannot afford to have innings like that and still win. First pitch on the way. Reaches out for that one. He's behind on the count on one. A fastball up and away. It's awfully tough to catch up with it because you want to try to hit it deeper in the zone and go the other way. And before you know it, it's by you. Zumaya with a windup. And A.J. Przinski strikes out, unable to make contact on that pitch. Number 29. Okay, so it doesn't have much movement, but it did hit 99 on the gun. And the first pitch. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. For that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. Swung on, liner to right. And Ordonia that makes the play. Two away. And Jim Tomey. He homered back in the third. Base is empty and two down. Hit sharply down the line. And in there, second hit for him in the ball game in his fourth plate appearance. Well, this pitcher was cruising along in this inning. Not a lot of difficulty so far. Loses concentration for just one second, and now a runner in scoring position. He's got to work. Johnny Damon looking to light things up here right now, Gary. In this matchup, lifetime, one for three off Joel Zemaya. First pitch on the way to Damon. Fastball swung out of miss, stone one. As a hitter, you don't want to fall too far behind in the count. Right now, you want to be able to know what pitch he's going to throw. Well, that's a shock into the stands right there. That's just self-defense, but a nice play. Got to be a collection taken by those around him. He just saved somebody a big-time hurt and got one of his own. Well, that had to sting a little bit. Line shot into center field. And that one drops in for him. Wow, that is his first base hit. It has been a struggle to get. And the run gets in. He tries to sneak one down and in to get the strike three call, but he fights it off. Outstanding job at the plate. And that is so demoralizing for a pitcher. You work so hard to get ahead on the count, and then you give up a base hit. So Alexei Ramirez is batting. Go well, the direction here, Steve, for this lineup to stay in charge right now they are well they were given an opening and they took it and now they have a lead late in the game swings and misses the slider 0 and 1 Steve we'll keep an eye on the bullpen we'll expect to see that closer getting up and a ground ball Cabrera Ramirez's season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Second doubles, third most in hits. Now he, you'll notice he's also ranked in the top five in batting average. A guy that puts it in play, finds holes, and finds a way to get himself on base. Two down. Runners at first and second. Zumaya with a windup. Now swing and a shot toward second. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. 
So they scratch across a run. Three hits and a couple left on. White Sox by two. And we get a look there at Jim Leland. In his mind right now, well, ninth inning strategy to get this thing tied back up. Offensive production's the key. It's going to be Santiago now. Got a couple of RBIs thus far. Well, he's already driven in a couple runs in this one, Gary. you got to believe they're going to pitch him a little bit more carefully this time around. And here's the first one. Great one. First pitch is a cutter. Looked at 0-1. And you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter. You're way ahead of the game. He squares around and he gets this one down. He's up with it. Throw is not in time, and that will be an infield single. The defense tries to get it out here, but they come up empty. Now you get a guy safe at first base. We'll get to see Bobby Jenks pitching. Chicago is ready to try and close this one out. Well, if you can get a start like this every time out from your starting pitcher, you're going to take it. He kept you in the ball game, pitched pretty well, and now turns it over to the bullpen. No one out and a runner on first. Here's the first pitch. Fastball in there for a called strike. Uh, pitching wise, you want to make them earn it, force them to get a base hit right here, force them to put it in play, throw strikes. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. Got one. Over the first and safe. Very close play. They will not get the double play. Uh, defensively, you got one out here in the ninth inning. I mean, you want to make a play. Just get an out. You will trade a run for an out here with a two-run lead. It's layered at the plate. Now look at the lifetime numbers. He's 260 against the White Sox. One out man on first. Jenks with a delivery. Takes a swing, but he's too late on that one. Strike one. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. Pitch on the way. Grounded up the middle. Picks it up. Retiring late. Well, it's, it's, uh, their hope is dwindling right now. Down by two. One out left to play with. And they're going to have to try to come up with some big hits right here to try to win this one, Gary. Jenks finds the zone. That'll be a strike. And that one is a fly ball. This could do it. And that's going to be a base hit. Tying run is on. And the throw. And he's in there. Look, it's very interesting right now. That huge at bat cuts the lead to one. Now let's see where this thing goes. Now, Brandon Inge. Very important production we've seen. They still need some more, but they're starting to get it done. Well, we know this offense can turn it. Swung on grounder. This might be it. And on to first for out number three. And that's going to do it. During close games, you have to make the plays at critical junctures. That's what the White Sox did today, and it led them to victory. Time now to honor the Pepsi Clutch performer, Joe Creedy. The offensive effort is today. You know, sometimes quality over quantity helps teams win the game, and that's how this game was decided. That one big hit of the entire game, and it's easy to see why we singled him out as the Pepsi Clutch performer of the game. And Steve, that ought to send these folks home happy. Oh, no question about it. They get the win in a close game, a lot of excitement and enthusiasm, and ready for the next one. And we hope you've enjoyed today's 2K sports broadcast of Major League Baseball. For Steve John and our entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Gary Thorne. We will see you soon.